do 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 What's up? Okay, so <clears throat> how y'all doing? My name is April. I am so excited about starting Sims 4 gameplay. I'm obsessed with it. Um I've been playing for a, a while, since The Sims 1, um, like I had the CD-ROM and I was on the family computer, the box joint, you know, out um, in the family room, on dial-up, remember that? Anyway, um, <clears throat> I love The Sims, I've been playing Sims 4 for a while now, I decided to get started, I want to share, I want to play. I want to discuss so I'm gonna start out just giving you a little bit about me my background um, I'm 29 uh, I live in Portland Oregon and um, what else was I gonna say uh, I don't know I didn't have notes or anything for this but anyway um, I play on a MacBook Pro 2012 edition. I have get to work, I have get together, and I have a lot of CC. A lot of CC. Um, what I will do in the future is put together a few videos because I know that CC is a very obscure, almost impossible to understand concept but I know when I watch gameplay and I see cool CC um, the the user doesn't really make that much effort to kind of direct you toward it so anyway that's that's the future stuff anyway um yeah so we're gonna start out we're gonna play we're gonna see where it goes so, we have on the left here, we have Jen. Jen, Jen. Jen. Jen is an adult. She is um, kind of snooty, but kind of not. Like, she appears snooty, but she's not really mean. She doesn't have, like, a mean trait or anything like that, actually. I'll show you. She's actually cheerful. <laughs> Um, she wants to have a family one day. She's romantic and she likes music. Um, this is Frida. Frida is, um, she's kind of, she's nice. Hold on, where's her stuff? She's also romantic. She's outgoing. She's creative and gregarious. Wants to be a friend of the world. She's social, but she's also a little classy. She's not really a thought bot or whatever. So these two girls, women, you know, just moved in together. They weren't really completely good friends, but their parents know each other. So they decided, you know, they're tired of trying to do it on their own. They're just going to be roommates and move in together. So... That is the loudest thing I've ever heard in my life. Hold on. Uh, let's change that. Yeah. I got your grilled chicken sandwich if you want. Okay. Thanks. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's do audio. Let's turn that. Let's turn that down. Let's get out of get out of my personal space here voices are like I don't know it's it's really loud to me so let's hope that I don't completely obliterate this the volume here um what else do I want to tell you let's I'm gonna show you the house um I really really love building houses is not really much strong strong point I'll build a house but I had to have like a really clear vision on it 
this is from the gallery but I did modify it a lot so the whole purple and pink that's all me bro so anyway let's let him walk around a little bit it is Christmas time so we've got a wreath outside but you know it's it's classy to me it's kind of house um, I always envision having this type of design where it's colorful and, and busy I love floral print stuff like that so here's a living room got a nice little centerpiece TV of course you gotta have music um, here's a paint painters easel for Jen she aspires to be a painter but um, her interest hasn't really peaked yet so that's in the future for sure for her but yeah they're just having a good time over in the corner I don't know how to get them to not stand right here and dance I guess I have to move the stereo anyway here's the kitchen this happened by accident it looks so good to me but um the only thing is, is these chairs are a little high <laughs> So their knees come through the table, but anyway, that's the the kitchen. Then we have Frida's room. Frida's classy, so she's got a lot of these are actually lamps. These are really cool. I'll show you where I get those later on. But um, I just kind of made like a galaxy feel bedroom for her. And then over here is like the coolest room ever. This is Jen's room. Since Jen is a little more I don't know what would I call her style it's she's just more structured I guess I don't know I don't know what I'm talking about anyway this is the Marie Antoinette room I got this set this is definitely obviously CC but it's a whole set and there's even more stuff that comes with it but like it's it's dope like it's real dope I'll show you all of this later on I'll show you where to get it how to install it everything and then lastly here's the bathroom um, I I think I'm getting better with design but you know your girl can only do the best she can do you know but simple plain bathroom anyway um dude, where'd they go where'd they go all right, we're gonna learn this together. These angles. Any tips are helpful here. But they get along really well, given that they just kind of jumped into a house together. Let me get. Oh, I didn't tell you about the club. The whole point. So they're in. Let's get away from them. They're really loud. They're in the Money Shakers Club. Yes. Um, where's the description? Mm, is it included here? No, it's not. Did we edit? Okay. Chew them up and spit them out. Ladies, how many men can you trap in your web of lies? So, Frida started the Money Shakers Club um, not too long ago. She has had no luck in love. Um... Jennifer has never really been interested in, you know, finding the love of her life yet, even though she's family oriented. But since they're friends, and she's also a romantic, she decided to go ahead and, and be a part of the Money Shakers too. And we also have Beyonce here, who's kind of the whipping boy of the Money Shakers club. But um, I'll let you see that unfold later. Anyway, they're romantic. They love cooking. Obviously, both Jen and Frida are very good cooks. They want to be funny with everyone. They love to swim, so some of their hangouts are going to be centered at the new swimming venues. And just for kicks, uh, they like to kiss people. Dislikes. Uh, never use a DJ booth. Never mix your own drinks. Never be mean. Never watch TV and never fight. Um, the focus here is to get them to go through as many um, desirable bachelors uh, as they possibly can in my world. 
and uh, it doesn't matter if they're married or not because they're just here and they're gone so you know love them and leave them I'll explain Frida's motivation behind all of that um, in depth a little bit later but for now I know I haven't really done anything so I'm gonna get them to travel Travel. So Jen and Frida, it's 10 on a Wednesday. Let's go do something. Yeah. I don't know if my shit just froze or not. I really don't know. I really couldn't tell you. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So let's go. Obviously, we're going to Windenburg. Windenburg. I want them to go to is it this shrinking llama, shrieking llama. Yes, here we are at the shrieking llama. Let's go, let's go. Anyway, um, we're here to meet Mingle. So we're gonna focus with Frida. Actually, there is Amber Patrick. Amber's my fave. I love her. I think her and Jen will get along very well. Does she know Jen? No, she doesn't. So Jen, let's get to know Amber. And Frida is waiting for her drink. And we're gonna wait till we auto-populate this mother. Oh, here's Beyonce. <laughs> oh. I should probably just, I should have started a gathering. Beyonce just joined the Money Shakers. She has not been lucky in love either. She's um, really been focused on her career and she hasn't had a chance to really find anyone decent. It's kind of left her a little a little jaded and uh, she figured she can be social and um, you know what's this red why is this red why is it red you ever seen this what does this mean what the heck anyway uh let's get Frida to do something they don't like it. oh my god she doesn't like Beyonce I I know why. Beyonce just doesn't. She doesn't follow the the money shakers code of conduct. She doesn't feel well. Oh, that's too bad. Look at Frida. <laughs> Let's see what can you guys do. Let's let's play. I'm gonna play with everybody. Makes four, right? I can count. I can count. Little Amber's. Holy moly, what was Beyonce doing? She was watching TV. See? See what I mean? Beyonce. Come on. Come play with us. First time seeing this. Jenga is the best. Well, it's not Jenga, obviously, but we know this is Jenga. Totally the best. I went to this bar one time, it's an arcade bar, and they had life-size, not life-size Jenga, but they had like huge Jingas, and it, was, it had a patio on it, so they were all outside, and these are like big planks of wood, and it was so much fun. We just teamed up with some other people at the bar, and we were just like rolling. It was, it was amazing. Anyway. Look at Beyonce showing off. Showing off. For the record, I'm a Beyonce fan. So, <laughs> I just happened to be playing like before. And I invited her to join. And then she was always like two steps behind the club. And if they were doing something, like I always had to go get her and make her do what the club is. So, I don't think uh, the Money Shaker is, you know, Beyonce's bag. You know, I might have to find a better fit for her. But anyway, let's try to recruit... I don't want to recruit Amber. 
Amber's married. I kind of want single gals at the beginning. Ooh, here's a mirror. Who's working on a mirror? Somebody. She doesn't. She needs to work on a mirror. So, a mirror's married, by the way, but not happily. He's a cutie. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Oh God. Okay, come on. Stop that. I guess it's too early in the afternoon for the bar scene because nobody is really here, but it's really pretty. Excuse me while I check the time. That's a but that's good. Oh my god. Uh did they introduce e themselves to each other? No, they didn't. Okay. Okay. Hey, Frida. Yeah. Who's this? This is. Oh God. I can't see it. Jorn. Jerson. That's the best I can do, people. <laughs> oh, she does not. He doesn't like her. See what I mean? Like, Frida's an attractive woman, and she's not like crazy. But that's probably because of marriage married, so. I don't know if she's flirting or what, but we need to be friendly. <laughs> yeah. Frida's gonna be A okay. And Jin Jin is still playing. Um, don't wake the llama. I mean, what is this actually called? Why is this called? I can't recall the name. But... <laughs> Beyonce's great. She's great, y'all. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up there. When I come back, I don't think it's gonna be at the same spot. I'll just fill you in on what happened. Oh my gosh. And these camera angles will improve. I promise. So there's a speaker over there. What is he doing? There he is. Oh my god. This is actually a nice little hole. Okay, Frida. I get it. I was gonna take you home. Like, you could have waited. Could have waited. Wake up. In the gathering. Boom. It, it was a success, even though there was no goals ahead of time. Anyway, they're gonna go home right now, and I'm going to wrap it up. Look at the birds. Oh my god. This expansion pack is life. Where's Jen? 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 Jen, go home. Go home, Jen. Jen, Jen, Jen. Free to beat you home. Anyway. Hope you had fun. If you happen to watch this, oh, happy hour just when we leave. Okay, next time I know. Happy hour at four, guys. Be there, be square. Anyway, uh, next time, if you happen to see this and you know have tips for camera angles or audio or picture quality or anything like that, please let me know. I'd love to hear it. Love to hear some positive feedback. I'll see you next time. Have a nice one.